Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Um, I'm sorry, that was really loud, but um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> um, I if you guys if this is the first time you're seeing this video, I recommend you guys. Uh, for those people who've seen it, who just clicked into, who just clicked on this video, and didn't see part one, I recommend you guys watch that part first because it will make more sense but uh... if you guys don't really care then just watch that and just watch this game then just whatever um... i don't really care anymore uh... <laughs> i'm just doing this cause uh... i'm trying to get rid of this trying to make more space so i can start recording uh... more gameplay more co more uh... ah oh god more demon souls because i, I i'm out of space on my computer sad um yeah uh if you guys didn't see that uh, i was outside i activated the elevator so then if you died here you can just go up the elevator it's like a shortcut and you'll be where you started here i guess around here somewhere yeah not really being specific but uh you know if you guys need help just just do what i do i mean just copy me and uh, you'll finish the game you know if um you'll finish the game just fine because uh i'm 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 pretty average. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty average. If you if you watch what I do and do what I do, you'll finish the game just fine, okay? So I I mean, I recommend you guys like if you if this is the first time you're seeing this, I mean, if you didn't even play Demon Souls and you're just watching this for fun, um uh, it's a great game. Um I re I really really recommend you getting it. But uh if this is the first time you're watching this or if this is the first time you're uh, like if you beat World One Dash Two and you're trying to beat this world, I recommend you guys watch this first before you attempt to do any of the stunts that I did in this video, uh, because uh, you will save yourself a lot of deaths. Because if you just look at me and look at all the mistakes I made and correct them, then um, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you'll do a lot better. Okay. So by the way, uh, the reason why I didn't go the other way to the left of me, I went to the right, is because the enemies are facing me. Like I will have to kill them. They will. They will hoard me. They will come at me in groups, and I will not try. I will. I will fail trying to kill them. So yeah, that's why I went around. I try to flank them because uh, they're 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 pretty stupid. You know, don't don't don't. It's a secret. This is this is a secret way. So. Um, yeah, don't 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 go around telling them, uh, telling 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 everybody about this way because this is this is this is a secret. But uh, if you didn't see what I just did there, I uh, I picked up the steel shield. It's the it, it was the weapon below the the platform I jumped on, and it's a it's I I think that it's the best shield in the game because uh it's one of the best because oh my god uh... <laughs> it's the best because it's light and it's almost as strong as a tower shield i think if you upgrade it fully it's almost as strong as a tower shield and uh... the tower shield i don't know if you know this but the tower shield is the biggest shield is the best shield in the game but then it makes you really really heavy um... you cannot get it until later later on i think I think you can't get it until world 1-3 so it's the shield if you guys didn't know what the tower shield looks like it's pretty cool it looks it's the shield that the tower knight is using you know that the tower knight you know the world 1-2 boss that's a that's he uses the tower shield you know? hence the name tower shield because from the tower knight you know <clears throat> so yeah, I just killed everybody here. Uh, what you want to do when you're facing like a lot of enemies, you, you want to lure them out one by one and you want to kill them. So, um, you might think that I'm pretty crazy jumping off and trying to kill this lizard, you know, and like risking my life that I might die. But this lizard is pretty, is holding really, really rare ore for your uh, weapons upgrade, like for your bow. Not that I'm going to become a, like a bowman or like an archer or something I'm not gonna become an archer but like I just like to pick them up you know and like give them to people when they ask for it because 
I'm really nice. I I give out ore all the time, you know, to people who play online with me who co-op. I do that all the time. If you just ask, I can give you ore. Uh, if you know my, if you want to know what PSN is, is delete. So it's T H E underscore L E E T. Just in case you're wondering, I mean, I give out ore all the time. If you want ore, I probably have it. By the way, uh, if you guys are wondering, in my other account, uh, in my other file, I have about uh, 900. I think 900. I don't know. I don't know how much uh, I can hold, but I remember I fully stocked up on bladestone. So if you guys are, if you guys want some bladestone, uh, I can just give them to you if you want. But uh, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of sharp stuff because they hurt. So um, yeah, I the weapons I normally use are the ones that doesn't really need a lot of upgrades, like uh, dragon bone sword. That's pretty cool. If you guys are wondering what the hell I'm talking about, it's I'm I'm, I'm actually talking about like those guys who actually play the game, like who are actually familiar with this. But I mean, to you to you guys beginners, don't worry about it. Uh, you'll learn. I'll I'll show you what everything looks like. Okay, like the dragon bone sword, blade stone. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it and just watch the video. Just enjoy it. Okay. So um, if you guys are just wondering, uh, the dogs are down there. And they are vicious, yeah. Um, so moving on to this commentary, um, man, yeah, I think I think I gotten better at commentating because I, I I never run out of things to talk about now. I always have something to talk about, don't you think? Oh my gosh, um, oh my oh my god. I missed. <laughs> I I targeted that guy and I still missed. Uh, I thought it was like auto aim. I guess not. Um, yeah. So you want to kill these guys and you want to not take damage like I did and you wanna. What you do? Okay. This is this is gonna be mind blowing. The, this next part, you'll see it. Um, after I kill this guy and his partner, holding yeah his partner right here. You'll you'll see uh, this 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 dungeon. It's it's kind of mind blowing because uh, it goes around and around and around. If you guys know what I'm talking about, um, yeah, you'll see you'll see. Oh my god, I got a lot of s shards. <laughs> I wonder where like all all the how did this guy keep like carry so many stuff. Just wondering. Okay, here's the cutscene, and I'm gonna stop talking now for a while. For like 30 seconds. Okay, so we're back. And that was the cutscene in which the lava is somehow cooled down with the water provided in the this this dungeon. So right now you might be confused, like, wait a minute, I already been here before, but no, here, here you go. So you see this, like, when you turn that lever, water started flowing out, and apparently it cooled down the lava. So now you can be in here. And there's the set of stairs in which you have to go up to, which is the way to the boss. I know, isn't that mind blowing? I mean, if you could have walked on lava, you could have just avoided this entire dungeon and just go straight to the boss. I know. Man, that's just mind blowing. But in fact, you cannot walk on lava, so that's too bad. <laughs> that is too bad. Um. Okay, so if you, I'm gonna stop talking now, but like. Well, not really. I'm not. I'm not gonna stop talking. But like, I'm gonna stop talking about that. But <clears throat> as you can see, I, w I was waiting outside this uh, doorway because I was afraid that he might use his flame attack and blow me up. Because this room is filled with explosive barrels. If you guys didn't know that, and um, I'm really taking care of uh, like avoiding being near the explosive barrels because I might get blown up. You know, I might get blown. Yeah, whatever. So. Kill this guy, go through the fog, and this is. You're very close to the boss, I guarantee you. And. 
there's no more enemies here, which is kind of freaky because you kind of makes you even more nervous because uh, you're like, oh my god, the boss is very near because all the enemies are very scared of him, you know. Uh, if you can't, I don't know. I should I spoil the boss? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can kind of tell. There's like webs and cobwebs everywhere. Uh, I don't know if I should spoil it, but uh, let's play twenty questions then. I spy, <laughs> I spy something that makes cobwebs and makes webs to trap things in, <laughs> or something like that. Um, if you guys don't know what it is, it is an arachnid. That's a scientific term for it. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a spider. Um, I know, darn right, I kind of spoiled it for you. I mean, you guys already knew it was coming. It was, it's a spider. It's a, it's a fire breathing spider. That makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, it's a demon. And uh, yeah, and you'll see that I'm gonna fight this guy. So, uh, just again, before you fight the boss, you know, clean up your inventory, make sure you're fully healed, and all that good stuff. And uh, stay tuned for part three. But uh, remember, uh, subscribe, like, and comment the video. Uh, yeah, see you guys later.